<laughs> I was just looking at that benediction, Scott, being like, I feel like he's probably going to want that. Yeah. Alright, so we want the yeah. Onward stuff. to the golem, the broken altar. You discover the rubble of an ancient altar. Those altars are used to make offerings with magic shards and improve you skills. <laughs> the altar appears... Alright, stop <laughs> making fun of the poor game. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm going to point them all out. <laughs> The altar appears to have been destroyed on purpose, and perhaps those who did are, steer, are, are still nearby. This altar is barely usable, and in order for the offering to work, you will have to offer an additional amount of shards. Using this altar under current conditions will cost you a little more. Or we can yeah. try to fix it first. Or we can not make an offering, but try to restore the altar to its former state. Which That's true, is, but getting a six or higher on our four yeah. cards might be a little trickier. So... Two, four, six, seven. We could have done we it. We could have. <laughs> Fix the altar. Oh, uh, yeah. Got 25% discount. Sweet. And we got 56. And 56 good boy points. Is, oh, is that what that is? It's, it's, like, it's like XP. Yeah, it's experience. Oh, man. So now we get to we get to upgrade cards if we have the shards for it. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't been taking any shards, so I can't do anything here. I uh, have. I... <clears throat> I can, and I absolutely know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> Get that Song of Celerity innate. And then I don't think anything else matters that much to me. So that's all I need. I... But giving everybody, giving everybody plus three speed at the start of every fight. I think for my purposes in life... I think I'm going to uh, upgrade my barricade. Nice. All right. And now I just have a screen that says "Waiting for other players." Yeah, I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just gonna upgrade with my fire blast, do a little more damage. Well, then do it. I have done it. Oh man. Oh man! So now we get to go to the crumbling tower and see what we can find out. The Last Sentinel. You arrive at a crumbling watchtower. This tower was the first point of defense in the wolf wars against the wild werewolves of the forest. When you enter the tower, your eyes catch a dim light that filters under the rubble. It is a golem! They were the, the best defenders of Synethithia uh, has ever known. <laughs> but, Nailed it. But they were dismantled after the war and it was thought that there were no more left. The power supply seems to be damaged. Maybe you can find a replacement for the core. You can repair it. Um, uh, sure. Aha! You hide the golem and keep it more protected so it doesn't take more damage. Maybe in the Valkyrith Mountains there is some creature near the volcano that can be used as a core. When you were hiding the golem, you found some magic shards. So, 100 nice. of those shards that I just spent, I got them right back. Sweet. So now we're looking for something in the volcano. Volcano! Burning rush. <laughs> Story <Our> time! <laughs> In the forest, you find a large open space that seems I'm like fine. <laughs> that seems like the perfect place to rest a bit before continuing your journey. When you go to set up camp, you realize that there is already another group of adventurers camping. They see you and offer to share the camp. One of them also tells you, "Hey, do you want to share some stories of your travels uh, with us while we rest? Uh, would you like to share his camp and tell him a story?" You just be like, "Nah, dog," or "Yeah, dog," or "I'm a dog." <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you could. So, what, what do you what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, every, everyone's all about me sniffing out the opposition, huh? Yeah, I, I trust you. You'll you, you'll draw a defense card, right? Ah, oh, crap. Well, well. Oh, I've received open wound. Yep. <laughs> so it's just so... when you when you draw it, you're forced to play it, and you get to bleed. But it, then it goes away. Uh, well, well, that's just in your deck now. Uh, I guess so, the werewolves... Magnus detects that they're werewolves, and, and but he's not sure what kind. <laughs> Tells them the true story of how he fought in the wolf wars defending the kingdom. As Magnus spoke, the werewolves grew increasingly furious until one of them transformed very quickly and bit Magnus. The others also transform and attack you. I didn't... So, I, fight time! When I chose myself, I didn't think it was just me that had to get the three. I thought it was like a combined effort three. Didn't work out. No, no, it was you had to draw a defense card. Yeah. Well, Alright, so... Bam. 
Oh, that made bam, bam. that made me faster. Yeah, that's well, why I put, made that card in eight. Everyone is faster. Oh, well, stop betting me. <laughs> oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, it it, it it was relevant to me, <laughs> whereas it was less relevant to our casters. Right. Hey, oh, they're on. faster than that one guy. <clears throat> Let me slow them down. Ha ha! Hey, All right. there we go. <laughs> this is a team effort. You speed us up, and I'll slow them down. <laughs> Build them up and break them down. Uh, and then. Uh, so this is a this is a gnarly fight, Lee. Yeah. So shaman in the back is is uh, resistant to magic attacks. So I'm gonna focus on hitting the front with the spells. Uh, Makes sense. He's a shaman. That's why I. That's why I shot him with an arrow. I was like, no, nah, that guy looks like he's bad. He's got a staff. You know what? I'm just, also, that second one's got a gun. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going everything. There's, there's a lot happening here. Oh boy. Oh, that one's gone. I yeah. don't like that guy. Yeah, neither do I. Ooh. Oh, but if I do that, I can't do anything else. Maybe it's not worth doing yet. Or is it? The, the sad thing with Searing Nova is it's like, it's so much better if you're burning, but, but you're not burning, so. Aw, oh, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, look at Scott being blessed. Oh, go foresight's good. Foresight on him. Oh, what's he doing? He's... Oh. I got a lot of healing heal, someone. I don't want uh, yet. Oh, he's the healer boy. So he's healing back. someone and tanking up hard. Okay. Yeah. So he's currently healing himself and then tanking up. Well, then you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that, and then I'm gonna save my energy. Sure. Oh, so now he should be the one getting healed. Oh boy. No. Oh, he is... He is setting up. Okay, and then stealthy boy. Ooh, yeah, ow. That's what I was afraid of. Big hits. Alright. Uh, so you got definitely some deflect. Definitely, I'm gonna. I'm screw it. I'm adrenaline. All right. Now, who needs to? Who absolutely needs to die here? What's he doing now? All Dude, of them. Four. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, you, you should kill all of them simultaneously. Um, yeah, the the shaman is the one that really needs to die. So um, harder to deal with. Like, it, yeah, and unfortunately, all of the cards I drew are front monster. So I'm just gonna mess this dude's day up. I yeah, think. just yeah. go nuts. Unfortunately, he's both in the back row and has so much magic resistance that I'm just yeah. not yeah. gonna be able to touch him. And that's why we might actually be better off ignoring him and tearing yeah, him just... some ranks. Well, I suppose I will uh, just do that real yeah. quick. And I'll... It's like... Um, yeah, you can just yeah. save the energy. Yeah, he's about to bleed to death anyway. Ow. Ow. <laughs> he didn't sound that upset about dying. Just, <laughs> All right. Take him out. Uh, yes. Cutthroat is particularly vulnerable to fire, but as far as ice and lightning, they're all about ish. Yeah. The other fun thing about the lightning magic is you have that spark effect. Spark which deals the damage to the other two. Yeah. Which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all that nonsense. Uh... The healer's healing. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> As the healer turns around and just starts nuking the, the... Oh, one health... Yeah, we didn't nuke it good that's enough. a little, that's unfortunate. And I wish that the spark hit him and the sides, but it's just the sides. Yeah. But look, all we have to do is look at that guy funny and he'll die. Dude, that that shaman is after <laughs> your face. Yeah, he knows here, he'll stand here, by. Here, Scott, you <laughs> figure <laughs> okay. out what you want to do with that. 
Um, <laughs> Kill the I Everyone actually knows. sort of want all that, but I don't have enough energy for all that. And I think I'll just... Eh, we'll, we'll do that. Some... Okay. Definitely do that. Uh, uh, you could aim shot that middle guy, because he's going to go before yeah. me. Yeah, it, it's, it feels sad having to do that, but I think it's still worth it. And I don't think, I think the extra energy is going to be more important than nine damage at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can do all kinds of things. Hey, except damage. I'm going to be angry. Now I can do damage. There you go. <laughs> it's like you had rend, but that was it. <laughs> so you can play almost all of that. Yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's real good. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get some damage in. Just. Yeah. It's like. Kick, kick his butt, Magnus. It's like, I, I, I did enough blocking for everybody. Let's just try to get some damage in. Speed minus six. How dare you? Man, why are you so slow? I'm the quick Look, one it, on the team. <laughs> I was going to say, it only means dazed. you're slower than Magnus. Aw, <laughs> uh, just charge battery for days, Joe. <laughs> it's like, next turn, you'll have so much mana. That's cool. I'm so tanky. I guess magic too now. Yeah, because the, the only thing that we know is going so far is that Lee's going to take six. <laughs> Just whack. <laughs> oh, everybody's wet. <laughs> it smells like wet dog in here. <laughs> that That is half of the field is wet dog yeah. right now. And the other half is... Corpses of dog, which have disappeared into like blood splatter. I think when dog corpses would probably be worse. No. Uh, I did a number on you. You've taken too long. Yeah, early on our cards aren't super super strong, so it's gonna it's gonna take some effort to get us. Hmm. As long as we don't get worse than good. Do that just in case. Uh, I feel like if I do this, you could. Uh, he's already dead. Uh, maybe. Scott, do you know offhand if the bleed goes off before the regeneration? Bleed is. Um. Oh yeah, with the regeneration. Because um, he's because he's gonna recover I, three and take I fifteen. Think... I think regeneration is first. So then slice him I can't once. Do. Yeah, then I'll slice him once just to be safe. Because I'd rather... Yeah, and then... And then you, that's you, plenty. I, don't, I can save my energy. There's no point. Okay, it looked like the bleed went off first, but yeah. now we know. Oh, sweet mana gem. Yeah, it's unfortunate that that suit, your your attacks against him are gonna be a little unfortunate. But what are you gonna do? Complain about it? Yeah, he's up. This guy's up there with just like, look at all of the fire resistance I have. Fifty six percent fire resistance. Come on. He's even got holy resistance. What the hell? He's got. Yeah, he's got a lot he's, of magic he's resistance. A, he's a he's a mage. Now that, but now that he's, Jesus, now that he's there, I'm pretty sure he's super hella dead. Now that we we can get to him, oh hell yeah! <laughs> Go ahead and make with the murder. Uh, actually, yeah, just, I was just gonna do that. Two, but... two aim shots or two ruptures. Yeah. Yeah. It took us a hot minute, but we got there. Yeah, but we're still in good, so that's fine. Ooh, upgraded Ooh. options. Oh, that poison dart. But I'm I'm not doing poison yet. Dispel six and discard one. 
How often will I have six debuffs on me? <laughs> I don't know, but that one card will make it so that you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's fair. Oh, do I do I lean into poison and just start building for it? That's so much poison. Uh, and then there's an upgraded headbutt where I do <sighs> more damage and I apply a daze, but I discard one at random. Ooh, as opposed to just a regular discard. Yep. Um, oh, that, it is more damage, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oof. you know what? Let's let's we'll go for it. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? And now we're going down to the forest arch, right? I do believe so. We'll yes. Save save the baker son. The boys' trail. You arrive at the forest arch that the baker told you, and you begin to examine the area. You notice a small empty stall near the arch, and wonder who in their right wine, well, right mind would make a store here. Next to it, <laughs> you see a group of four trunkies. Surrounding a hole in the ground that is covered in bushes. You cannot see what is inside, but double space, you see a trail of something that has been entered or left or left the hole. Defeat the trunkies to see what's in the hole. <laughs> Leave. I didn't sign up for this. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look <laughs> like how Joe's like, I could burn them with a fire spell. Joe, you, you mostly have lightning and ice spells. <laughs> but yeah. I have fire. <laughs> <clears throat> what of it? I have fire. I ain't gonna use it because we're in the middle of the forest, and that's stupid. Yeah. yeah, but look, if you want to defeat your enemies in a forest, using fire is a great idea. That's a great way to kill everyone in the forest. Yeah, all of your enemies in the forest. Everyone. <laughs> and so... we go first. Yeah, I apologize to Lee for this fight because these guys are are uh, immune to bleed and also resistant to physical attacks. <sighs> yeah. Uh, James probably isn't going to like them much either, but you, me and Joe should be fine. You would think that they would be like somewhat vulnerable to sharp axe-based attacks. Yeah, but you don't have an axe. You have a sword. The Rend That's has true. an axe on the icon. It doesn't turn That's your great. sword into an axe. It could. You don't know. <laughs> Guess I'm just going to play defensive. Oh, you do start with a sword. Slashing damage plus one, and at combat start, a random hero gains fire. That's pretty good. I wasn't paying attention to what my starting gear was. Okay. Oh, just speed one and resistance plus 3%. That's good. And I got no fire spells. And of course you got no fire spells. That's okay. And Joe has family jewels. <laughs> That's true. So you should hit all of these trees with every element all at once. Oh, whoops, I'm going to hit the middle one. Oh, well. Okay. Holy oh, ripper. Oh. That's my new spell, and I think I'm interested in using it. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that thing's going to thorn up. Uh, thorns are unfortunate, but we don't have to... Boom. Wow. That's not bad. So I wasn't paying attention to the numbers. Could you have just killed that front guy if you had done that, Scott? Um, if you had done that plus your flash? If, if I had done that plus flash, then probably. That's okay. You got other things to do, too. It's like, we're not, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stop him from thorning up go forth and nibble god termites yeah, thorn up and then just pound pound god i'm just getting my head cracked yeah you're gonna take a lot unfortunately oh, god 
Help! <laughs> I gave you all the pets I could. It's like, you're the tank. All right, Joe, find some fire. <laughs> hey, look, fire. Beautiful. Uh, poison the poison. trees. To be fair, I... They can be poisoned. <laughs> yes. I'm upset that they can be poisoned, but they can't be bled. <laughs> yep. Like, why can't they bleed? Because they don't have blood. Then why can I poison them? Because reasons. Also, you could bleed the popcorn, but you can't bleed trees. Oh, screw it. It's like, you, you can poison plants. Like, I get that. But, like, you could make them bleed. They got sap. You all slow down. Uh, <laughs> and I've also made them Scott's, vulnerable. Scott's still too slow. Yeah. That, that day really days. hurts. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm going to headbutt. Well, no, no. hold on. The, the headbutt will minus one of their speeds by six, so I can make Scott go faster than one of them. That's <laughs> true. Scott, which one do you want outspeed? Well, your headbutt can only hit the front monster. Scott, which one of the so front one do you want <laughs> 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 outspeed? The one. Okay, got it. Uh, uh, I would, I would probably keep you keep the armor on yourself. Yeah. Considering you take an additional five damage from all blunt attacks, they're going after you. Oh, Merry Christmas. Yeah. But it's September. Eh, wake me up when it ends. Uh, wait, actually, hold on. Pause. Uh, yes. When this comes out, it will still be September, but it's very close to October. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I almost had to wake you up, James. <laughs> ah. Ah, oh, it's free charge battery. I mean, might as well. Now burn the forest down. Nah, more termites. I am being nibbled. Oh, I'm being constantly pounded. Yeah, they're gonna keep doing it. Oh, more termites. Oh, but Scott's doing a great job of keeping our HPs up. Speaking of keeping our yeah, HPs up, yeah, I was gonna up, say. I guess Scott <laughs> is doing. I HP really things. need to. I need yeah. to dispel that crack, though. Yeah, that crack because a problem. that's piling up. Oh, yeah. thank God. And then. Yeah, I think yeah. Joe needs it more. Stop with the termites! <laughs> How dare you make me slower than Lee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, you're not upset that you're slow. You're upset that you're slower than me. Yeah. <laughs> Go fast is what I do. Uh, this Ren. I mean, I suppose it's fine. Ren is just making fun of me. It's like days. Honestly, days me all you want because that's. It doesn't really affect things in the grand scheme. All right, we need to stop some things here. Um, well, I think you can probably kill two of them. <sighs> That's so sad. There's these poisons. That will be enough. Yeah, but poison ticks at the end of the turn. Oh, but the fire ticks at the start of the turn. So that's yeah, fine. yeah, it'll be fine. So he will burn for one damage at the start of his turn. So that's good. Um, and then let's. That's also good yeah, because just... that means it gets another tick of electricity off, I think. Yeah. Alright, so then focus on that back one. The thing is, Zap does random. I could accidentally zap the wrong one. Eh, it's fine. If it does, it does. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's not that big a deal. Perfect. Uh, keep, keep in mind that Cold Spark is based on number of cards in hand, so you yeah. usually want to play that first. Yeah, I, I forget about it a lot too, but. Yeah, it's like the headbutt. 
Um, oh, that'll put out the fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't, unfortunately, don't want a healing rain right now. That's fine. Um, do. Well, actually, that'll be okay because uh, he'll be get sparked by the other one. Yeah, but his he gets the turn first. Yeah, oh, yeah. So he'll get a turn. Yeah, this will stop just... that turn from happening entirely. I'll just do that and call it a day. Yeah. yeah well, I can. I remove Dispel. a little bit of bleed, but not enough to really matter. Yeah. That's true. Well, I probably won't get another turn anyway, though. So I'll just That's do true. that. Say, I'm pretty sure. Ow. <laughs> he, he really tried to make that last turn count. Just getting slammed. Mm. All right. All right. Finish him, Lee. You deserve it. Ah. Uh. I, I wish I could do less damage with this fast strike so I can kill him with a rend. <laughs> <laughs> Performance. Oh man, good. Here we go. Ooh, heavy strike is pricey but spicy. Is it spicy? That is cost three. Well, it costs three. And it deals 21 damage to draw a card. I'll oh, like try it. Toxic Rain. Yeah, Toxic Rain is pretty good. Toxic it's just a little rain. bit of poison to, poison and water to everyone. When you which will also make it. Joe's lightning better. Boy in the hole. After dealing with a group of trunkies, you can now freely check out what's inside a hole. Indeed, the boy is there, but he is wounded. Luckily, He's you wounded. can heal him. Which choice do we choose? That's because there's a one hidden option. Oh, man. Uh, hey, so everybody gets a trustworthy card added to the deck, which is just on draw, draw a card, gain 12 block, and an inspiration. That's so pretty basically, good. Yeah, it doesn't take up space in the deck and just give you some shielding and some extra draw. Nice. You cure the child and give him some supplies so he can return home safely. Before leaving, he tells you you found a chest in the hole, and that's why he was here. Uh, he gives you the chest and goes back to his farm. You are very satisfied to have filled the baker's request and feel pretty good about it. Sweet. And we get more XP and the chest, which lets us draft things. Oh. Dra oh. So you can... Yeah, it's a draft, so Joe gets first dibs. Interesting. And you also notice you have five equipment slots, a weapon and armor, a, a trinket, a potion, and a pet. So, like, if Joe wanted that gold chain, he'd have to get rid of the uh, the family jewels. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, but I'm almost thinking that leather gloves. Wait, does that powerful the powerful boost my, all my attacks? Yep, yep, yep. All healing and damage done, 5% damage per charge, and that remove two charges at the end of the turn. So, yeah, I kind your of first that. turn, you'll do a little bit more damage than that. A lot more damage. First turn, you'll do a lot more damage. Second turn, you'll do a little more damage. All right. I feel like I should probably take either the gold chain or the amber amulet. And I'm thinking gold chain. Just armor up. Yeah, I'll resistance is an HP. Sure. Uh, so what are you what are you thinking, Scott? Well, I I really like the mana potion, but I already have. And, um, yeah, you got the bandages. Yeah, the bandages, which are great. So I'm kind of leaning toward taking the for amulet. Okay. So if you want that, uh, I the surprise box feels like a very James thing, but I don't think I want it. It's it's a mystery box. It could be anything. Yeah, it's it's honestly not good. <laughs> It's, there's a 50% chance that it's just a bad thing. I feel like I'd rather just... And even I mean, if you get a good thing, it's only once at the start of combat, and then it'll right. wear off. Like, it's meh. Exactly. Now, the mana potion's not bad. I could just Amber Amulet just go heavy on my resistances. My default armor gives me 3% resistances, so I could just stack up nice. Um, yeah, like keep in mind the mana potion. It's not like 
super amazing, but that is just an extra free energy every three turns. Yeah, but it's only every three turns. So that's going to happen like once. Well, uh, well, I'd say we're probably in the early stages of the game. It'll probably happen more often later. Yeah, especially in boss fights. In boss fights, you will get more than three turns. So what do you do, James? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, I had a feeling you were just gonna amber it up. Yeah. <laughs> 